Mr. Mayor, Mr. Esterton, ladies, gentlemen, proud parents and children, on behalf of Churches Together in Formby, Altca and Hightown, welcome to Formby Village Nativity Musical. This year, we welcome choirs from Make Noise, Our Ladies, Well, mate, I never thought I would see the day that you will be tying the knot. All your single days of freedom over. You're settling down and becoming domesticated. I can hardly believe it, that Mary would want to marry me. Mary, you're becoming engaged. Who would have thought? It's so exciting. You'll be the first of our friends to marry. I can hardly believe it. I'll be married next year. I don't know her very well yet, but there's something about Mary. She's very talented. It's like she's got the X Factor. I hear she can bake off a great loaf of bread. Soon, you'll be strictly come dancing with Mary at your wedding. I'm looking forward to getting to know her better. I want to be married, but I don't really know Joseph yet. He's a good man. He has a trade and can help you build your house. He's strong and handsome too. Enough of that. In a year you'll be wed, Mary. You'll have time during your engagement to get to know each other. Trust in God and let him guide you and Joseph. I will. I'm looking forward to getting to know him better. We are gathered to celebrate the engagement of Joseph and Mary as they make their promises to each other. Mary, I promise that I will care for you always. Joseph, I promise that I will be faithful and true. I give you God's blessing. As you prepare for marriage next year, you will get to know each other better. Your love will grow strong if you live in prayer with God. God's guys, I've been to some dumps in my time, but this one has to be the worst. What's it called? Nazareth. Any possible conscripts here, I wonder? We could do with some fresh meat in the Roman army. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Give me that. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye! Listen up, you miserable lot. There is an important announcement that will affect you. Our great, most noble, valiant, esteemed Emperor Caesar. Why did you not cheer when I said the great name of Caesar? I'll say it again, and you'd better cheer or else, our great, most noble, valiant, esteemed Emperor Caesar Augustus Amen. has ordered a count of all his citizens throughout the great Roman Empire. All citizens, yes, even in a miserable place such as um, Nazareth. Oh yes, Nazareth. So every man must go to the town of his birth to be registered in the next four weeks. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Two volunteers, sire. They were a bit reluctant at first. Needed a bit of persuasion, like. They look a bit puny to me. 
Is this the best you could come up with? So you fancy yourself as a soldier then? Can you march for 20 miles carrying your friend here? No, I didn't think so. And you, where are you from? Formby. I've never heard of that. It's in Scouseland, sir. North of Chester. The Vikings founded it. And left it again soon afterwards, no doubt. Pfft, well, Scouser, you're going to have a, quite a trip from Nazareth to Formby, so you'd better get started. Off you go. Give them a cheer to send them on their way. Yay! And where are your family from? Bethlehem. Well, don't hang around here. You better get going soon too. Joseph, did you hear that? Your family is from Bethlehem. You will have to go back there to register. Oh no, not now. Mary's due back from visiting her cousin Elizabeth any day now. She's been gone for months. I've been looking forward to seeing her. No. She can't be. We never... How? Listen, if it's not yours, then you need to divorce her. Yes. She'll only bring shame on your family. She's not worth it. She will be stoned for her sin. End it straight away. And you're not involved. Oh, no. I need to see Mary, to understand, to protect her. Is it true? Mary? How? Why? Joseph, I promised at our engagement that I would be faithful to you. And I have been. An angel visited me and asked me to be the mother of our Saviour. And this baby came into being. An angel? I'm so confused. Yes, an angel visited me. I have been praying that you would understand. I don't want to hurt you. I had a dream about an angel and about us getting married. I don't know what will happen in the future, but I do know that this is part of God's plan for us. Mary, I promise to care for you and I will, you and the baby. I don't really understand, but I trust in you and in God. A census has been called, and I need to go to Bethlehem. Let's get married straight away, and come with me to Bethlehem. Always lean on me.
Finally, we're at Bethlehem. It's taken much longer than we thought. There's so many people. I had no idea it would be so busy. Let's see if we can find somewhere to stay. to the sheep. Well, you two can take first watch. I'm going to sleep. And no disturbing me this time. I'll know if you two are playing. <laughs> gathered that much. I have come from heaven to bring good news. Our shepherding days are over. Shh! Have some respect. Rejoice. Tonight a baby has been born. He is Christ the Lord. What? You mean the Messiah? The one who's come to lead us to salvation? Surely not. Yes, it's true. Go and see for yourself. I'm so proud of you both, after everything you've been through. I'm so happy. You and me and baby Jesus. Just the three of us, together with our God, looking out for us. I couldn't ask for anything more than this. I will care for you both all the days of my life. He is so tiny now. I wonder what he will become when he grows up.
travelers from many miles in the east. A star appeared many months ago. We followed it until it rested over Bethlehem. We seek wisdom and have followed the star to see a newborn king. Well, I don't know about a king, but we do have a newborn baby. Come in, you're welcome. This is our son, Jesus. He is the light of our life. And he will be the light of the world. We have brought him gifts, but he is God's gift to the world. Everything will change on this one night. It is an important moment in the history of the world. Well, the weather has certainly given us a, a festive afternoon. I'd like to thank the choir and the teachers who prepared them. So, as I say the name of your school, stand up. Everyone knows who you are. So, your own school and their leader, Catherine Last. School and their leader Katie Smith. Woodland School and Last. And now around the 